Hi, I'm Colin and I'm going to be walking the Yorkshire Wolds Way 79 miles from Hazel on the River Humber all the way to Filey on the North Sea. Here we are, the first official acorn. So here I am walking along the uh, Hazel Foreshore down towards North Ferriby. It's uh, 22 degrees centigrade. Um, it's the 21st of April, so Easter Sunday. And uh, I'm off, I say, along the Yorkshire Wolds Way. Today I'm heading towards um, South Cave, or just beyond, up towards where the, uh, the, the Hunnersley Vale is. Um, I'm hopefully going to be doing a wild camp there tonight, or somewhere nearby. Um, I'll speak to you later. For quite a while now the foreshore path has been closed due to erosion. It's only recently been opened in the last couple of weeks and uh, I seem to be going down a diversion now. This is the site of the Bronze Age boat, Bronze Age boat that was found at North Ferriby. This is the point where the high tide route and the low water route meet. Unfortunately, the path down by the low water route is uh, a little bit muddy, so I shall be taking the high tide route. So there's the sign, all the way over there. It's up the path, there's all the way up there over the top of that and back down to there. Super! Heading away from the busy road, finally into the Yorkshire Wold Way proper. Hopefully it'll be quieter soon. Arrived in the pretty village of Welton. Still This is Weltondale. What an idyllic little spot. This is the top end of Weltondale. It's lovely. Looking down into the village of Brantingham and Brantingham Church. First view of the day. Looking down onto South Cave, and I'm going somewhere over there eventually. Looking towards Little Wold Plantation, somewhere up in there will be my wild camp for the night. Came from over there. Heading through Little Wold Plantation. Heading down Comberdale towards Weedleydale. And to end the day, Weedleydale at the bottom of Coomberdale. Best view all day. Hi, so to recap the day, I uh, set off at one o'clock from uh, Hesselhaven 
and I walked the Yorkshire Wolds Way all the way um, to just north of, uh, I'm in East Dale, just north of uh, South Cave. I've walked 17 and a half miles and uh, it's been a good day. It's been very, very hot. It hit 20, 21, 22 degrees this afternoon. Um, I was glad to get to South Cave. Popped into a nice little pub called the uh, the Fox and Coney. I had a couple of Cokes and a beer, which was very, very nice. Something called Atom. Never had that one before, but it was a lovely dark beer. I've uh, pitched my tent and wild camping in the woods and um, yeah I've just had my dinner macaroni cheese something to eat all very nice a cup of coffee listen to a bit of music and uh, then I shall get my head down and uh, well hopefully up for about six ish see if I can manage it fingers crossed I won't get too disturbed tonight hopefully there's no footfall um, I don't think there will be around here it's mainly mostly going to be deer owls um, various other critters running around in the woods so uh, that's me, day one done. It's uh, been pretty good. I'm tired. I can tell I've had a heavy pack on all day. Uh, same distance again, if not a little bit more tomorrow. Um, take my time. Market waiting, first thing. Um, yeah, it was good today. Highlights, seeing the Humber Bridge, especially from below, that was quite good. Had a nice lunch at the, uh, the pork and chorizo burger down at the, uh, the country whatever it was the countryside hotel down by the down by the bridge and then uh, yeah it's been uh, it's been quite good no real views up until last thing and then when I came down Comberdale and uh, into uh, Weedley Dale it was it was quite beautiful and now I'm much further up and uh, I'm at the top just on the junction of East Dale and uh, yeah, it's been good Feet are a bit tired, a bit achy. Knees have been really good. I'm really pleased with my knees. Stiff neck from carrying my bag, but I knew it would be. But anyway, that's enough for me jabbering on. I'm signing off and I'll uh, see you tomorrow. Good night. <laughs>